Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down. It is Thursday. It's time to do some shoulders. Uh, I have a couple of things on my mind. What I might do, it could either be going for a one rep high weight max lift, or it could be going for a reps max lift. You know, in other words, like a high weight that I want to do as many reps as I can try to do with it. So either a max weight or a rep max. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, as, as some of you know, if you kept up with my videos, I got spotter arms and I used to do these off my spotter arms, which made it easy because the spotter arms were down here and I could just roll the bar to me, do my press and then sit the bar straight down and get it out of my way. But now I'm pulling off my J hooks, which gets me closer to the bar. It's not quite as comfortable. But what I did was I put one of my old little adjustable dumbbells in between the bench and the rack bottom and it pushed me out about an inch and a half. We're gonna see if that helps out a little bit, just kind of get me back just enough. Because one of the things I found over all this uh, couple of years, big time of training, is that the closer I can get to the weight, the better. If I have to pull the weight to me to get it up, then a lot of my strength and momentum and all that is zapped. So uh, I do have the materials to get new safety arms built. I just don't have the money right now to do it. So uh, maybe one day I'll get to get them done. So let's go ahead and start our workout today, guys. We got 95 pounds. We got 25s on each end, and, we, and the bar is 45. And we got clips there. So let's see if we can get a good shoulder workout done and uh, make ourselves proud today. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm going to do another set of these for another good warm up, and then we're going to jump to 135 and we're going to start taking off, guys. So stick around, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment uh, if you'd like to, and uh, we'll see you on the next clip. All right, we got 135. Woo! Woo! 225. 
sets of these 100s. I'm going to stay low rep and probably not by choice but because I'm worn out from the barbell presses. So, uh, no warm up sets with the dumbbells, just straight to the 100s. exactly what I wanted to do. Let me catch my breath and get another set done, guys. Set number two, 100s. something before I quickly forget it. If you recall yesterday, I did back and bicep. Typically, I don't do that. Normally, I'll do back and shoulders today on Thursday anymore. But I went ahead and did back and biceps yesterday because I thought, well, I just got biceps to do. Maybe I'll do back. Well, I forgot that here lately, I've been doing legs twice a week. And one of my other times is on Wednesday, on bicep day. So I actually didn't get my second workout in for legs. And, uh, yeah, so I forgot that. Whew. Anyway, tomorrow's deadlift day. Whew. So, yes, I just now put the weights down. I'm hot and tired. So, uh, did I get a max weight PR? Well, I got 275, and I think that's my PR already is 275. But that's all I was going for. I wanted to see if I could match it. It wasn't super pretty. I was coming up out of the seat, but I did get back down. And my arms did stay out, and I did have control of the weight. And I controlled it on the way down, too. So uh, for me, in my personal life, in my gym, in my world, uh, I got 275. It just wasn't real pretty. 
So I'm really happy with that. Uh, I got 245 three times. I was hoping I would get four to five. Uh, I think I needed that to beat my rep PR on that, something like that. 225, I got five, which is nice, but I think I needed maybe six to beat my rep PR. I'm not real certain on that one either. Uh, I've lost, I've kind of lost track of these things. Uh, the 185, I was pretty happy with. I got 12. And then uh, the burnout, which I think uh, really burnt me out, was 135 I did for 20. Ooh. And then uh, doing the 100 pound dumbbells, three sets of three. Now, did I have to do the dumbbells today? Not really, but I feel like my 100 pound dumbbells need to be used uh, because I have, I have managed to get that goal to be able to do those with shoulder presses. So I wanna make sure that I'm always able to do those, at least for the time being. And uh, it goes along with a flat bench and incline bench, you know, using the dumbbells. I like to make sure I can use them still along with other little movements you can do with them and stuff. So I like to make sure I can still move them. And uh, I handled them okay. I felt stable and secure, even though I was completely worn out. I just knew I wasn't gonna get a lot of reps. So I just kept my expectations low. And I said, if I can get three sets of three, I'll be happy. So, and that's what I did. That's what I did for myself. I didn't want to push anything. So, whew. anyway, a good workout. And no, I'm not going to do legs today. I'm not going to do my second leg workout today. I'm beat. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, the workout. I hope I inspired you in some way to get in the gym or go do whatever it is you want to do and just do good at it. Do well, push yourself hard to where you make those ugly faces, you know, then you know you're doing something, no matter what you're doing, you know, on the toilet, you, know, you might make those faces. Oh, a little toilet hammer. <laughs> uh, dad joke, Matt Bean, Scottish Fitness, uh, if you see this. So anyway, guys, uh, be healthy inside and out. Do something good for yourself today. Be awesome. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, your worn out, dead, tired host. And get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Now, let's go eat a little something. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.